Hey, hey, I'm back. I'm back with the latest review of Sabaton. And uh, after my journey to Oslo, watching uh, Lordi, Baby Metal, and uh, Sabaton. And um, yeah, three hours, 15 minutes after the door opened, Sabaton entered the stage. I have to say that I also waited two hours in line, so that's uh, five hours, 15 minutes before. <laughs> yeah, I waited that long for Sabaton. Well, as you can probably see, put some uh, sliding pictures up here behind me and um, yeah after getting warmed up by Lordi a fantastic concert by them uh, uh, getting heated up and brought into the ecstatic by baby metal Sabaton entered the stage with this. They started up with Ghost Division, as they always do. And uh, I've looked through here, I found the set list on uh, the big old uh, internet. And uh, apparently they played 18 songs. And uh, yeah, they went through Ghost Division, Bismarck, Last Stand, Into the Fire, Corolla's Rex. Uh, that was in Swedish, by the way. Uh, Winged Hussars, Sarajevo, Stormtroopers. 1916, that's a multi-head cover. And uh, went on with uh, Soldier of Heaven, Dreadnought, The Red Baron, Father, The Attack of the Dead Men, Christmas Trees. And then they went off stage. Just to return with uh, Prima Victoria, Swedish Pagans, and uh, to Helen Back. And uh, their outro was uh, Man of War. I totally forgot to tell you about the intros. Sarajevo and uh, Sansu Says. Um, yeah, let's just jump straight to the next one. Uh, just small clips and I'll talk a little bit in between. As you can see, Thanks to Lordy and Baby Metal, the crowd was now fully awakened. And um, mind I say, it was a lot of people my age in there. I'm just saying, I'm 45, and I could see people, you know, in all ages, and, and uh, how could I say, both men and women. But um, there was uh, probably a 80% guys in there, and I'm... Um, with guys, I mean, 30, 35 and up. So uh, it wasn't, how could I say, not an old crowd, but uh, an aging crowd. But uh, they managed to, to make some noise. They managed to, uh, later on, you will see them jump around as well. And um, yeah, no, it, was, it, was, uh, it was brilliant. It was really nice to see that the crowd had some real anticipation when it came to Sabaton because I had the same big anticipation but I was you know fiddling around with uh, cell phones and uh, and uh, how can I say recording equipment and stuff like that and didn't manage to, to get the proper sound but you can at least hear what they sing and what did Sabaton bring to the table well, an epic performance. I must just say that it wasn't many minutes into the concert before I thought that, uh, fucking hell, I'm, I'm going to 
to go to Sabaton next time as well. Definitely. And for some odd reason, I was hoping that please don't be Spectrum next time. Please be a bigger venue. I know Spectrum can take between eight and 10,000 people. Uh, from stage, Sabaton claimed it was 10,000 people uh, in there. So uh, I, I trust them. And uh, but, but I want to see them on a much bigger stage because I think they have the potential in Norway to, to fill it up more. Because what they delivered on stage was, how can I say, it was, yeah, I, I say epic all the time because that's, that's the best word I can use to describe what was uh, happening on stage there. You know, I, I've been to Iron Maiden, I've been to, to Metallica, I've been to, to Foo Fighters, I've, I've, I, you know, I've been to a lot of concerts on bigger venues. And I can't see any reason why these guys can't play on, on, on the big venues. Or, or, or at least the bigger venues. Because what they delivered on stage was brilliant. It was massive. It was grand. So, uh, yeah. Well, let's let's uh, listen to a, a little bit more. You see, just epicness, and the sound was, how can I say, really good. Not like you hear in the in the recording here. And you know, sometimes you have bands. You know, you can you can go to 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 the small venues. You know, like a couple of hundred people, and you, you get the feeling that the band could. Oh, you could have played for a thousand people, no problem. Uh, I bet you could. You have, I can say, the sound picture for it. But the sound picture that Sabaton comes out with is, is it's just massive, you know. Um, I, I don't do co uh, uh, in comparisons, you know. I've seen ACDC as well. But for me, going to a Sabaton concert, it was better than going to an Iron Maiden concert. Yeah, I said it. And uh, because the sound picture here was, it's, it's just so much better. Let's, uh, let's just jump on. It just continues, you know, perfectly set up. And the deliverance from the guys on stage was just, yeah. And as you can see here, it's actually uh, an almost full-size tank where the drummer sits. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm quite fascinated by by uh, tanks of, of all sorts. I couldn't tell the type. Probably some of you guys on uh, have some inside information about that. And uh, is it in metal? Is it plastic? Is it is it a real tank that they've just cut off? I don't know. But a lot of things happened with that one. Smoke coming out of the barrel. There were pyros. Yeah, mounted on the sides there. Yeah, I mentioned the pyro show, and the the pyro show was was brilliant. It it um, 
it wasn't too much, you know, some bands just tend to spit out everything, you know, it's, it's uh, flames and smoke and, and noise and, and everything. And it might be kind of a disturbance to the concert, but Sabaton, just exactly the right amount of, uh, of uh, pyro. And it's it, it's nice to stand inside, seeing the flame coming up and then getting hit by the heat. It's oh, it's an experience. Let's go on. That was during uh, the drinking break. <laughs> now, as you can see, people put out their phones and everything. I even had an old school guy in front of me. He came up with a lighter later on. It was... <laughs> I haven't seen a lighter in a concert in, in, uh, in a long time. Normally today, it, you use the, the, the... How can I say? The, the lights on, on the cell phone. And I think... I think it gives a nice, how can I say, kind of feel. Let's let's see it one more time. Look at this. It's it's beautiful. You know. Yeah. yeah. And and uh, they have. Some, how can I say, periods during the concert where they turned it down a little bit and um, yeah, you got the guitar solo. I could do a panorama view around. But uh, then again, suddenly they, they were back to, to uh, normal speed and tempo. Let's see what's coming up next. <laughs> Brilliant. And he was singing through his mask. I've never seen anyone do that. Uh, it was a gas mask, you know, thing he had in front of him there. But it gave a very, very peculiar sound. I really liked it. I really liked it. Um, let's see, I don't know how many I have left here, but let's let's go on. Yeah, this was just one of the silent moments, and he uh, asked us to to put on the lights on the phones. And I have the light on my phone. I'm just panoramic around. So um, yeah, let's just jump straight into the next one. As you can see, now the jumping started. So, um, 
and as you can probably see i've changed place a bit bit because suddenly i got uh three guys probably almost two meters high that just went straight in front of me so i had no possibility to to record anything for a little while so i had to try to move through the crowd without being a nuisance you know so um but yeah i was thinking about it you know going home I, I went in and i put even more songs on on uh, on my playlist because uh they played quite a few songs i haven't i can say reacted to or heard before so uh quite a few of those songs were were um, i can say first time listening for me and um yeah no i, I just thoroughly enjoyed everything that Sabaton did on stage and getting a, a history lesson as well while listening to brilliant brilliant metal rock as he says whatever you, you will see it in a later clip yeah he, he says he's yeah we could just find a clip it will come it will come because he says something peculiar he says uh it's so nice to see people gathered here to listen to metal, rock, or whatever this is, you know. So he, <laughs> he doesn't label his music himself. So let's let's go on. It's just a few more now. You know, I'm going to say that it's fine to see so hard. Heavy metal, hard rock, whatever the color is going to be. Heavy metal, hard rock, or whatever you should call it. So, uh, yeah, it was quite funny. That was it. Was the next clip? Let's uh, go on. Tusen tack Norge. Tusen tack Oslo. was it and i got teary eyed at the end here because i want to see this again so i hope it won't be too long until they make uh the next tour even though you know the tour to end all tours you can you can i can, I can say i hope they don't mean it <laughs> no as you probably understand, I, I had a, a brilliant time. Not just me. I think everybody enjoyed ourselves in uh, Oslo Spectrum at, um, at Saturday. Um, Lordy started the show. A brilliant, I can say, a reacquaintance with them. Baby Metal, which I uh, originally bought tickets to see, uh, delivered like hell and but as i said in my previous uh review way too short they played for only like 40 minutes i think and um but they delivered they delivered uh i'm really really glad to have experienced or had the experience to see them here in in norway they're going to play in oslo again 14th of november on a much smaller stage i don't understand why uh because i think they could have easily pulled 
5,000, 6,000 people here in Norway. Um, I guess. But they're going to play at the venue which holds 1,700 maximum. So that will be a very intimate show. And uh, yeah, the mastodonts of uh, rock, power rock, uh, metal, heavy metal, uh, Sabaton from Sweden, they ended the show when, in just an epic way. We as an audience felt, how can I say, very welcome. So, yeah. And um, we got, the uh, the audience got uh, quite a lot of uh, thumbs up from, uh, from, uh, from the band as well. They thought we were making much more noise than last time they were here. And uh, I couldn't see it, but apparently there was a, almost a mosh pit in the front there. <laughs> For some reason, people were dancing, jumping, clapping, singing along. I was one of those who were singing along quite a lot on the songs I knew. So, um, yeah. If I could rate them, I'm so happy with the way thing ended. And I, I would give them 10 out of 10. because. I can't see what else could be done better. They played for one hour and 40 minutes. They played 18 songs. Um, and delivered 100% all the way through. The show was brilliant. The music was brilliant. Uh, the vocals, uh, guitars, everything was just perfectly delivered. So, uh, yeah. 10 out of 10, and I want another concert with them. Uh, it would be nice to see them outdoors. Uh, I like it inside as well, get better sound inside, but but uh, outdoors would be nice as well. So perhaps they're playing at the, one of the rock festivals around in Norway the coming years. Who knows? But um, Sabaton people really, really, really enjoyed everything. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to, to see them in Norway next time. And uh, with that, my first reviews from concerts, bigger concerts, has uh, been done. Um, I will probably work with the format on, on, uh, on later uh, reviews. But this was just made on the go with uh, not without any editing or, or anything. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. I did. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back with the uh, normal reactions in, uh, yeah, a day or two, I think. See you around. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.